Problem 11, it says four lines and four congruent angles are identified in the diagram. Basically, this point corner is 89.9, 89.9, 89.9, 9, 89.9. So there are your four pieces that are all similar to one another. It says, which statement must be true given this information? Now, you could sit here and worry. I'm just going gonna, gonna to ignore the point now. We're not going to worry about that because it would just be easier. Let's fill in everything we can and see if we can tell if anything is parallel to one another. I can see right away if this is 89 and that's 89, inside angles, if, you know, consecutive interior angles, they have to add up to 180. Those don't. Those are equal to one another. That right there tells me that this line Q and this line P are not parallel. I know they're not. But let's fill in everything, figure it out. Now, I just made it, instead of doing the point now, I just made it 89. So they're all still congruent, no big deal. So if that's 89, we got 91 here, 89 here, 91 here. 89, 91, 89, 91. 89, 89, vertical angles. Linear pair, 91. That was going to be a linear pair, 91, or vertical there. That's 89. It's a vertical angle up here is 89. It's a linear pair here and here, 91 and 91. So I filled in everything. Now let's see. I can see that I can't pick these angles up right here. I can't take these and move them over here. I can't slide them down that transversal because that's 91 and that's 89. They don't slide. They don't corresponding angles aren't matching up. So that tells me P and Q are not parallel. So I know P and Q, P and Q are not parallel. Now what about this line and this line? Well, here's the transversal coming down. Notice all these could be picked up, slid down the transversal, and placed right here. Same thing here. You could pick these up, slide them down the transversal. That means this line and this line are parallel. So I do know that M is parallel to N. That's all I know. Let's see what it says. Which statement must be true? Only M is parallel to M. Very first thing. Nice. Only P and Q are parallel. We already said they're not. P is parallel to Q and M. No, no. No pair lines are parallel. No, we know that M and N are parallel. So, choice A will be for problem number 11.